Hello YouTube and welcome back to Guitar Guru channel. Today I'm going to present to you the second part of Fractal FM9 for Dummies video. If you didn't see that first part of FM9 for Dummies, uh, please check the link in the description down below. In the first video I showed you how to move between banks, presets and scenes which are individual sounds in your Fractal FM9 processor. In the second part, I will show you how to use your laptop and uh, preloaded FM9 edit software in your laptop to manipulate sounds within your actual unit, within your processor. What you'll have to do is learn how to move presets from one place to another and how to move scenes or individual sounds within the same preset or grab one sound from one preset and move it to another preset. Let's briefly refresh the part one. So you powered up your FM9 Turbo or FM9, FM3 or X3 processor and you see this little screen right here and with yellow you see the number of preset and name below the list of available scenes or individual sounds. Just make sure you understand one of the most important windows is this one with the red, red light on it. Right now it says scenes and if I press it, it will switch to presets. This is where you are switching back and forth between presets and scenes. That is very, very important, all right? Now to understand how it all works, presets are here in yellow, number 400, Leon, Leon's Life FM9, right? So if you want to change preset, make sure you are in presets on the bottom. How you know? If you see scenes, that means on the bottom you are in presets. Because when you press scenes, you will see this list of scenes here on the bottom. Number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? We're not touching this button that says presets. If you want to move from one preset to another, that's how it's going to work. I'm hitting number one. I'm at number one scene uh, in the list. I hit number two, it switches three, four, and I'm just going through these buttons, right? What if you now want to change the actual preset? You have to come back to this important preset or scene button, click on presets. Now you will have names of presets on the bottom, and that's how you switch. If you want to go from 400 to 401, you will need to click next button, and you are at 401. Then you click third button, you have 402, and so on, 403, 4, and so on. Now this yellow line is changing. If you want to go far from 400, let's say down to 300, this is where you start operating banks, up or down. So from 400, I want to go down to 300. So I click this button multiple times. Let's say I clicked it five, then first button on the left. See, you are at 375. You go back to banks, one, two, three, four, five. Click on the first button on the left. You are at 350. That's how repeating uh, this, these steps uh, again and again, you'll get down to 300. After which, when you found the preset number you were looking for, let's say 350, you go back to scenes. And here on the bottom, you will be able to pick individual scenes or sounds from the list down below. That's how it works physically on your unit, on your processor. Now, what if you liked a sound or scene in, uh, let's say, preset 65, and then you like another scene or sound in the preset 380? How do you jump from 665 number to 380? It's very far. You saw that moving it, even using bank uh, pedal, is gonna take some time. Nobody has that time. Um, in between songs on stage, right? Or even if you are at a, your rehearsal space, uh, you don't have that one or two minutes clicking and clicking and finding 300 after 65. So to uh, manipulate and move between uh, sounds that you like or presets you like quicker, you need to put them back to back in a row. Let's say you like something in 65, Next preset that you like should be 66, the next preset you like that consists of eight different sounds in 67, then 68, 70, right? So within a second, you can move between presets. To achieve that, you will simply need to copy the entire preset and relocate it and move it to a different number on your preset list. 
Let me show you how it works with your laptop and uh, software that's called FM9 Edit. This is what I'm gonna use. FM9 Turbo Fractal Audio Processor. It would be connected through the output to the line input on my PA, Yamaha PA system. So I'm plugged in, in straight into direct line. It's recommended. It's not recommended to use a combo, something like tube amplifier, because it will simply conflict with the distortion and drives that your tubes give you. Uh, uh, it would conflict with tubes or overdrive that you use in your processor. So simply plug it in directly into the PA or mixer line. Then I will be using a mini USB cable. It's right here. You can read the USB or mini USB on the back of your processor. And then this cable goes straight into your laptop. And of course you need a guitar to simply check what kind of output sound you're getting. I'm gonna use PRS McCarthy, Karina, USA made. Pretty quick. To download FM9 edit software, you simply go to Fractal Audio Systems. It's fractalaudio.com website, and you will find FM9 Edit Download. It will show you basic options for Mac or Windows laptop right here, and you simply pick whatever option works for you. If you work on Mac, you will pick this one with Apple logo. For Windows, you download it from here. Once this software is downloaded, it will look like this green application that says FM9 Edit. And once your laptop is connected to the actual processor, where you are at right here, you see 350 plex verb. When you open your FM9 right here, it will open you in this same place. You see what you saw on your processor. Now you will see on a big screen. Of course, computer screen is going to be way easier to operate. You have access to presets and to scenes at the click of your mouse. You see how easy it is now and how many of them you can see all at once compared to the tiny window that you see on your processor. What I did next, I just cherry picked the presets I really liked and individual sounds, let's say, but mostly I put them as a list of presets that I like and I decided to put them back to back so I don't go far from one place to another in that huge list of almost 400 presets. And I decided to make space. Actually, whenever you go to presets right here, right here, click, you open list of presets. If you go down to 384, after this particular one, it's all empty, as you can see. So all these empty spaces, now you can use for your custom presets. So I took all the presets I liked and put them one uh, after another. You see 400, Leon's Live, it was on 380. Alice in Chains, uh, I think it was something like uh, number 65, I put it on 41, right? Then number 137, I put on 402, and so on. So now I put them all close to each other. How you do that? You simply go to a specific um, preset you like. Let's say 346 is the one you like, or any other number. Before you click on it, go to Manage, all right? By the way, after update in your presets, on the bottom uh, right corner, you can see Manage. You can click on it and simply access it in a different format where you can actually right-click on any preset and copy it right here. Once you copy it, you can move now to, let's say, 413, the empty one, right-click on it and simply paste. Now, the entire preset with all the sounds in it is going to be copied closer to your other presets. That's how it works, moving the preset you like closer to your other presets that you like. After you copied and pasted preset in the proper place, don't forget to hit save right here. And then OK. <clears throat> and it saved it. You see, it's a pretty quick process. Uh, in the past, let me close this window. In the past, before most recent updates, the only way to manage presets was through tools. 
right here, you could manage presets, right? But now you don't even have to go to tools. You simply click on presets. You simply click on presets and you will see separate manage button right here. After you click manage button, you will see it slightly different, you know, in a slightly different window, but in the same order. And this is where you can pick a specific preset, right click and copy it. Right now without manage, it can let me only assign colors. But if I go to manage, I can pick a specific preset, right click and copy, and then eventually paste it in any other place I want. Now the hardest part, what if I want one specific sound from preset, let's say preset number um, 412. It's called Beethoven 5 octaves synth. It's a pretty cool sound. I recorded a video with this particular one recently. It was a short on YouTube. So I really dig this Beethoven organ type of sound on my guitar. And I want, want to move one particular scene, one particular sound on top to my Leon's Life FM9. In this Leon's Life FM9, if I click, I'm in it right here, right? If I click to on scenes, it will show you uh, all scenes available, right? It's eight of them. And I like pretty much all of them except number eight. This number eight tell me, I would love to replace with this Beethoven uh, organ sound. How do I move this particular scene from 412 or 413 to 400? How do I move from preset, which one was it? Yeah, 412 to preset 400. Well, unfortunately, there is no way to copy this whole uh, block set. You see, it's a preset 412 and scene number five. This is what gives you this Beethoven sound, right? I want to copy everything I see in this line and move it to the uh, 400, preset 400. Let me switch to it. Leon's life. I want it to be here on this number eight. So instead of this whole line, I want to put Beethoven sound. Unfortunately, you cannot copy the scene individually and move it to a different preset. You will need to copy individual components one by one and move them down to the library. If you click on each individual components, right click right here or left click, doesn't matter it will open library down below. So I like this Beethoven 5 octave synth and I want to move this particular sound and place it on number 8 scene in the preset number 400. I will need to copy individual components. Do not copy in and out. You will do it from quick build. But everything in between input and output, all this uh, amp, pitch, cabinet, delay and reverb need to be individually copied to the library and then from the library you will reinstate it in a different preset one by one let me show you how it works inspect the place where you're gonna uh, put your new sound in i know i want to use 400 leon's live and i want to copy this beethoven sound on number eight right here this is what my number eight looks right now okay so it has in out if you don't have in out already it's let's say it's completely uh, empty you go to quick build and here on the bottom you will be able to pick this input right from this you click on it okay and you click and uh, basically paste to this if it's empty it will let you paste input number one then you put output number one again you pick it from here it's already picked so that's why it's gray grayed out if you don't have anything in this line it will let you pick uh, output number one and then to connect everything between input and as far as possible output you simply click on it then there is this zero little button you uh, right click and it creates a connection so you move all the way down to out and click on the little zero on the left here it connects all possible blocks. If you don't need wow pedal or phaser, you can either bypass, right now they grayed out so they bypassed, or you can uh, specifically remove. You right click on that wah and say, I want to delete this block. And it will delete also the connection. So now you can move input closer just by dragging 
right? Again, click on that zero and all the way up to zero on output. And you again, reinstated connection. Only now you don't see WAP pedal. Same way you can remove phaser or just keep it bypassed. Then you go to amp, it's not picked yet. This is something that you will get from the library. All right, after any manipulation with sound you make, uh, don't forget to click save button right here. All right, if you are about to switch to another uh, place, to another preset, first click save. So when you delete it while pedal, it will not appear again when you come back to this particular preset. And one last thing to keep in mind. I know it's a lot, but there is no other way, unfortunately, when you copy individual sounds or scenes. With this uh, Leon's Live preset that I like, most of the sounds I like, and I want to add a new sound to it, the amp is in channel A, and it's Friedman Small Box. That's an amplifier I have uh, in my studio. I love it. But when I switch to preset 412, which is Beethoven 5 octaves, it says amplifier is FAS lead 2, so it's a different amplifier. And here it's positioned in channel A2. If I move it to the channel A in my uh, Leon's FM9, it will conflict. So when I change the level of driver distortion in my Friedman small box, it will change level or distortion in this one. So they, they overlap, they conflict. I need to put it in a separate channel. So technically, in the place you are planning to move your sound to, <clears throat> check all the individual presets and note the uh, channel. You click on AMP. Uh, quick build off. Here on the bottom, you, you will see channel A, right? If I click on two, yeah, three, right? Two, one, it's all channel A. One in channel B, then number five, channel A, number six, channel A, number seven, channel A. So basically only A and B channel is used for amps. We have C and D uh, free. So we can go to presets now, find our Beethoven sound. It's right here. And when I copy this amp, I will right click on it and it lets me put channel, I will say I want it in C, okay? So not to conflict with anything else in my Leon's FM uh, preset. And then it's in, in channel C, I right click again, I go to library and save. I can name it as amp, Beethoven amp, and save only current channel, does not include modifiers, all right? So you, aha, uh -huh, th this name is already in use. Okay, we already have it. So let's say amp one and save. And it's saved to your library. From library, you will reinstate it in the new preset. Now you go back to the preset you are gonna use, number eight scene. This is where I want to place Beethoven sound. And I will go to input, if it's not there, I just put it from uh, quick build. Then I know that next component is supposed to be amp. So I click on it. And then in library, if I click on that empty space, it gives me Beethoven five octaves amp one, the one we just saved in the library. I click on it and that's it. And it's already enabled exact same way as it is in preset 412, where it says Beethoven five octaves, right? So we just moved amp with all the settings it had in the previous uh, preset to a new preset, to a specific scene number eight. Same way, I will copy the cabinet, all right? I can click on cabinet, go to library, and I, say, and I saved Beethoven five octave cabinet. So I click, now I have cab. Don't forget to click save button from time to time. Now everything is saved the way it is on your previous preset. If amp is still grayed out, right click and go to bypass engage and engage it. Now it's on and cabinet is on. Same way you will copy reverb and uh, delay and move it to the available spots. You can basically remove 
through edit, delete block, and pitch is removed. All right. To reinstate connection or delete the whole after you delete the whole block, click here, create a line all the way to output, click on that left button and it's all connected again. You can remove this delay and multi-delay and put regular delay and reverb that you will copy from preset 412 where it says Beethoven five octaves. Let me clean this whole line of individual blocks. I don't need equalizer. I can go to edit and delete block. That's it. Compressor, edit, delete block. Uh, delay, edit, delete block. Multi-delay, edit, delete block and then i simply go back to input this little zero icon click on it back to output click and you connected a string also we don't need phaser so i can edit delete block and reconnect everything zero to zero that is it now we have input amp cabinet let me move exact same way, uh, move delay and reverb and pitch. I will have also pitch if you remember. Uh, hold on, before I go, save, right? So I don't have to do it again. Presets, I go to my Beethoven five octaves. So make a note, it's input, amp, pitch, cabinet. So in between amp and cabinet, I will have that pitch. I will individually copy it like this. I will move it to library, save. I will say it's a pitch and click only on bottom, I mean on top, save. All right, we'll override, I already have a uh, same name. Okay, I override. Um, and now when I go back to my preset 400, Leon Live FM, I come back. So here, instead of gate, by the way, let me show you pretty quick. We don't need this particular one, right? So edit, delete block. And instead, I go to quick build and I need to find pitch. Uh, do you guys see pitch? Yeah, it's right here. This kind of pitch was used before. So I click on it, right click, and I can actually even move it with my mouse right here. I have this pitch, all right? But I want to put a specific one from the previous preset. So I exit quick build. I click on pitch. I go to library and it has Beethoven five octave pitch. Now it's exact same settings as I have it in the sound that I like. And I moved this individual component to my 400 Leon's Live FM. Now it took a little bit of time, but I copied the entire scene, the sound I like from 412 Beethoven 5 octaves to Leon Live. And now when I click on Leon Live, number 8, this is where I wanted it to be, I have this sound with pitch that resembles organ sound. <laughs> hope you liked this little presentation on how to move particular sound from one preset to another. If you feel like uh, this presentation is helpful, give this video a like, action on the channel, share, subscribe, comment, and until next video, God bless and take care!